guys, welcome back to Melon Company. It's me, Emily, and today we're back with playing Bear and Breakfast. Let us get right into our game. All right, so we're back. We're currently at the hotel in High Lake. Let's make sure we have guests coming. Arrives tomorrow, arrives tomorrow, arrives tomorrow. Leaves in two days, arrives tomorrow, arrives tomorrow. We do have one empty bedroom. I don't have enough comfort or decoration for any of these, so we can't accept those even though we have an empty room because we just are not fit to deal with them trash my best friend it's snowing guys oh that's so cute it's snowing let's check this when are you guys leaving you need two days okay we don't have an available room holy blizzard are we capable of making a better bed? Okay, we can make a level three bed. Should we real quick make level three beds? Yeah, let's do it. Actually, I don't think I can take the beds because there's guests. Okay, so we can fix that when we don't have guests. Let's go to A24. Okay, details. We have empty bedrooms, so let's fill them. And these guys all leave tomorrow. Okay, we got some guests coming. Okay, so our bedrooms here are empty. So now we can go ahead and upgrade the beds. These beds are massive. Does this room count as level three? It does, yay! Okay, that was really easy. Build one level three bedroom in Timber Crossing, host two plus guests with the pampered tray. So we need to host pampered guests. I'm assuming this is the pampered tray. They want level 38 on comfort. We need to do more because even though it's a level three bedroom, it doesn't have that level of comfort. So let's see what we can do. So we got these cute comfy foot rests we can add. Can I get two of those? That'll help a little. Elegant wardrobes. We can put trade out for the simple wardrobe. So let's do, whoops, just two of those. Okay, so now we have those. What is your comfort level? 31. Okay, so we need seven more comfort in each. I have literally two small vanity. I have two vanities in each of these. <laughs> Don't judge me, okay guys? I, I know this is like not really functional, but I'm, I just need the, I, ju I just need the comfort levels. They can still get in the bed. They can still get out of the bed as far as I understand. Let's go ahead and get guests. The highest they asked for with decor, like right now anyway, is like 23. So part of me wonders if it wouldn't be like beneficial to take some of the decor out. Cause I don't think that affects the level of the bedroom. And then go take that and add it to some of like my less decorated places. I mean, it might affect my prestige. You know what, whatever, we'll leave it alone. It's fine. Okay, you both have pampered. You wanna stay for two days, so you get to come. So now we just have to wait for them to come. <laughs> Dude. How did I not catch that level of oop? You know what I'm gonna have to do? We're going to have to edit this room, add an extra space. Okay, that room is now actually accessible. I feel so silly. Let's go ahead and make, we want something with like high food level. So highest food level thing, I think was like, I'm seeing fours. Okay, let's do fours. Tomato soup. I'm supposed to do boil, milk and tomato. Fuel. Okay, and then it said herbs. We're making five tomato soups. And then let's make roasted potatoes. We need a raw. And that one we're gonna put herbs in. Now we're gonna do roast with butter and potatoes and then fuel. And then we're gonna cook it. And I only had enough potatoes to make one. Should make some egg dippies. Okay, we boil an egg. And then we need bread and roast. Okay, and then we need fuel. And we'll cook that up. Maybe we can make corn on the cob? 
raw butter, roast corn, and then it says fuel. Cook it up. Okay, let's go fill it up. Ooh, my friends are leaving me garbage. I'm trying to get... <sighs> okay, I did it. Here's some egg dippy. And uh, here at this one, we'll do some apples and strawberries. Let's check if we have people staying here. We do have some empty bedrooms. I don't have any guest requests. Shoot, I guess let's go to sleep. Oh, all my rooms are empty now. Okay, I've accepted guests. Some of them I don't actually technically meet all their requirements, but I kind of don't care, so. Hey, we can go talk to the shark, yes! Finally, they're making progress, y'all. Study suggests that delay, uh, delayed gratification can be a serious condition with potentially life-changing implications. Protect yourself and your family today with our two-for-one special. What do you got? I think I met your, um, standards? Congratulations for once again achieving the most committed standard of all. The bare minimum. <sighs> this location has multiple opportunities for further advancement. But our data suggests that your tendency towards a quick and superficial fix is the perfect opening to search for a new expansion location. Remember, whenever you want to add a new premium property to the pond network, find your local pond shark and just press the green button. <gasps> ah, what a beautiful view! Come over when you get the chance, darling. Did you see that trash? I saw trash. And Barbara wants us to come say hi. So we're gonna say hi to Barbara. Of course. It's coming, Barbara! Sorry, Barbara. I just uh, wanted to grab some trash. Okay, I'm ready. Shh. Gentle. Listen. I'm listening. Soft bear noises. There's always wisdom in the whisper of the water. Even if it, this one in particularly loud whisper. Um, isn't it funny how the more you listen, the quieter it gets? And too much quiet can be quite dangerous. Especially for someone who's had a few bells rung in their life. No need, there's always something making noise in my body. But I can't hear you. Bear noise. You're always in the right spirit. I couldn't help but notice that the captain's garden is open for business again. He's always grew, he always grew the sweetest corn. I'm sure, it sure seems like your paws are soft, little hunks of magic. I can't remember the last time I saw the whole valley so active. The people look happy. You're doing such a great job. No, you're doing such a great job. Thank you, old lady. Happy bear noises. Say, I think all this hiking has me a little famished. Seeing as you fast-tracked your gourmet inclin um, nations, I was wondering if you'd be willing to get an old girl a little snack. And a little taste of home, I guess. Sure. You want a mushroom soup? I'll be big. Ooh. I can make a mushroom soup as soon as I find mushrooms. Ooh, what's up here? What's this? An old chest with popcorn? Mmm, corn on the cob and corn? It was a corn chest! That was cool. What is this? Is this our new property that we have to renovate? Guys, I'm not sure I'm ready. In all truth. <laughs> I just just got done. Oh, trash everywhere. We love trash. Is this the old radio station she was talking about? I wonder. 
Broadcasting station sign. Tony's construction safe. Uh, no available. Yeah. Can't do anything up in here yet. Except for collect trash. Ooh, I see mushrooms. On my map. Yeah. This is like a whole new area. I have no idea what I have stumbled upon. Oh boy, I hope it gets cartoons. Whoa, what is this? Billboard. We can build it. Let's do it. It gives us one extra guest request. Cool. Look at that. A monument to capitalism. Reveals itself before you. It's very pretty. One extra guest request per day in this area. Not me just stumbling upon stuff. Oh, it's up there. Look, I can fix it now. Yay, let's do that. I'll fix it. A beautifully crafted carving. You suddenly feel very welcomed. One extra guest request per day. Yes! Need those guest requests. Hello, my friends. That's a lot of people. I'm just gonna go in here. Let's actually trade the apples for the popcorn. And then let's go make some more mushroom soup. We need two cards to boil. We need mushrooms and onion. And we're gonna cook it up. I got you soup. Have you got anything for me? Yeah. Oh, you're too kind. Thank you. Oh, that smell. Like pine bark and mildew. Ah, oh, that sure hits the spot. Warms the darkest crevices of your soul, this will. I'm convinced now that if I see any hungry faces, I can send them your way. Well, that little pick-me-up gave me all the energy I needed. It's time I got going again. I hope I'll see you again, you lovely creature. Bye, Barbara! Look, there's Julia. Hello, Julia. Wait, the Julia's coming to talk to me? Oi, oi. It's a whole thing, y'all. Sorry, I startle easy. No, I get it. I scare myself all the time. You're still here? I'm not doing the voice very good. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I mean, of course you're still here. I thought you'd be busy with all the people and the houses and everything. Well, I'm not saying you're not. I'm sure those take a lot of work. And skill. And brain. And good looks. Yeah, those two. Ever since you came along, I've been thinking. I've been stuck in the rut around here. Doing the same thing, getting lost in my routine. I don't even mind the sound of the big black rock mates at night anymore. I think I want to try something new. Oh, I could take you to meet my buds. Or, or I can introduce you to the rat mob. They're mean, but they have a funny accent, so it's okay. What? Leave? As in, not here? Oh, no, no, no. I was thinking more in the realm of trying out some new recipes to cook. Oh yeah, that's fun too, I guess. Yes, exactly. Why do I need to go somewhere if I can just get a little taste of it at home? Kinda like traveling in your mouth? Yeah. I love my garden, but it doesn't grow a lot of stuff. Do you think you could try to find me some more unfamiliar ingredients? Something that doesn't grow here? Something fresh and zesty? Sure, ma'am. Anything for you. This is not night, but it's night! It's close enough, anyway. Sophie, my girl! I was just coming to talk to you. Hey, 
Hey, if it isn't the most charming bear on this side of the town. That's only because I haven't been to the other side of town yet. <laughs> I was just about to pack up. What are you, what can I do for you? I'm on the lookout for some fresh food things to find for a friend. Well, there's plenty of fruits and roots that grow around here. Oh, if you're looking for something a little more special, there used to be a greenhouse up north near the old winter lodge. I don't know if it's up to snuff anymore, but they kept some pretty peculiar seats. How would one waddle there? <laughs> you follow the road north past the broadcast station and right up into Winterberry. I doubt the keepers would still be around. Ain't no harm in checking. I'll open up the path for you. But I'm waddling my own behind straight back to the tower afterward. <laughs> These trees ain't gonna watch themselves. Thanks, Beanie. You're the best. Congratulations, Explorer. New routes unlocked towards Winterberry Whitestone Bay. Woohoo! Oh, aren't you just a big softie? Guys, we have a new place. Let's go look. Up north we go. Up north we go. Following the road. <gasps> Trash. Oh my goodness, it's snowy. You guys ready for this? I'm not ready. I'm not ready. It is a winter wonderland. Oh my goodness. It's so freaking pretty and snowy. We have stumbled into the winter wonderland. So much trash, guys. I'm like really loading up on it. <laughs> Look at the trash. I think I might be in trash heaven. So much trash just everywhere. It has new items. Cool. Look at all this cool new stuff. So much trash. I am not even gonna lie, I'm so happy. The trash is endless, y'all. This place is huge. I wanna see with the walls all the way up. Oh my goodness, look at this thing, it's massive. Let's go upstairs. Thing is huge, and the trash is never ending. I swear. Okay, built our workstation. We can now build and craft things up here. Wait, there's a second thing. Oh my goodness, they just keep getting bigger, y'all. Which is good, but also like, wow, kind of a lot. <laughs> Not to be rude, but it's, it's kind of a lot. Cause like I struggle to manage the like three places we have. I'm not cut out for the hotel biz, but I like the game. <laughs> it's really not too hard. It's just like constantly working, which is fine, but it is a lot. Who's that? Who are you, sir? May I talk to you? Oh, the air suddenly feels a little warmer. Out in the middle of icy nowhere deep in the heart of Winterberry, Resident Jack is the mis uh, Mastiff. His gentle and warm approach seems deliberate for a place this cold. If anyone knew how to kindle a fire, it was probably Jack's. He looks so cute. Oh, I already read that. It's rare that I don't have to look downwards to speak to someone. Even rare to not have to look up to face one of your kind. Did you just compliment and snub me at the same time? No such thing. Neither, neither, or do any good to the mind. I will praise or condemn only deeds. 
Not things you had no hand in. It's okay. I don't like it getting either. I don't know what to do with them. Dude, that's me. What does a young brown bear need from a frig frigid place like this? My name is Hank, and I'm putting together a group of remarkable friends to save the world. Hmm, are you? No, but now you might actually believe the second thing now. I'm rebuilding things throughout the valley, and bringing back humans because of a greedy shark. Oh, interesting. Why? What do you mean, why? Because the inflatable fish said so. But why are you doing it? Because, well, because I like helping. So it's the kindness in your soul then. Yeah, I think. Oh, and I'm also looking for something, uh, zesty. Well, Hank, that might be something I could help you with. But I'd like to see that group you're putting together first. And we can discuss aromatics afterwards. I can get started on building stuff. That sounds like a plan. And hey, make sure that kindness eventually finds its way back. Aww, he's kind of cool. It's dark now. How am I supposed to hunt for trash like this? Alright guys, I think that's where we're going to leave it off for today so next time we come back we have to remember to grab logger tools and a bus stop thing i hope you guys enjoyed we discovered yet another place and we will be working on our what is it fourth hotel that's pretty good guys pretty good and we've met more people all right and with that keep making the world a sweeter place Bye!